so we just got into florida and you can already tell the difference as far as the weather and good thing we stopped because our bikes were actually getting ready to well one was real real low to the ground how much is still over there trying to fix it when we had stopped last time there was no signs of it moving but if you got those racks at least every hour or every other hour I don't know but now we're a little leery but we did some additional securing and all that other good stuff so <sighs> look at it this is the welcome center here in Florida Look at that, welcome to Florida, the sunshine state. So we have made it to our destination, you guys. So excited. This is us right here. The Graces. Let me just open that up. All right, all right. This is our site number. Look at that. 12-1 to 4-1. Yeah, baby. We are here. Oh, it was a beautiful ride down. Beautiful ride down. We got to see a lot of good people and stayed at a lot of nice places, ate a whole bunch of good food, and we are now home for the next couple of months. But we're not going to just stay here. We're going to explore. Hey Grand Lakes, we're back! This is our shed. Gonna keep a whole bunch of stuff in there. <sighs> oh, that needs to be power washed. So just when you think, okay, you've made it here. Now everything is all good. Nope, you, you still have to do a lot of other things to prep. So we got here, as always, we always look at our site. We did know that there was a limb that was hanging down right there. So they're gonna come and cut that down tomorrow. But also just looking around the grounds, I see a lot of ants and stuff like that. And I don't have home defense. So we're gonna have to run up there, get some home defense and get some ortho um, granulated something um, that was recommended to me uh, for the ants. Because if you don't take care of a bug problem you're gonna find out that you're gonna have bigger issues on the inside of your unit so always look prior to even camping um, to see if possible you can have a bug infestation 
and for sure there would have been one for the ants so we're gonna take you guys along with us on this adventure of us camping here um, in Florida as snowbirds stay tuned <sighs> all right all right all right so we uh, have basically been working really hard today today is uh, Sunday and this was probably like one of the busiest busiest days for us because we arrived here into Florida um, we had to unpack we had to run and get stuff for uh, all the ants and then we had to declutter we had to also get keys to our shed made we had to literally just do so much all in a few little hours because we also have to get it ready for living so as you can see we had to take out a lot of stuff guys we have finally made it to our destination this is our new home for the next four to five months as you can see we already getting packages and everything um just where we we're staying at guys we're happy to be here it is bright it is sunny we got a shed on this property and check this out you wouldn't believe this Look at all the stuff we got in this shed. Oh, we got electric bikes, we got boxes, we got a um, moped bike. I mean, we got so much stuff. It's like we've been here. So we we got that, um, like that seasonal snowbird thing going on. Because this is the campground that we're going to be at. This is our main campground. But we plan on doing a little traveling. But check it out. This is our camp. Our campsite. We already went and got some plants. Shanti probably gonna kill them. Anyway, we're getting stuff together. Feels so good to be here. And of course, see frog back there. Frog is gonna be very useful on this trip. Finally got the truck unloaded. And all cleaned up that's what we look like so our site this year is a, a deluxe site it has a shed it has con a concrete pad I mean it has full hookups it has everything so this is what we're dealing with and welcome to the vlog so today is my day off but I have things to do just because we got here and we're still trying to get things taken care of. We finally got the ground treated for ants, but they are everywhere. So I think we're gonna go ahead and wait to put up the gazebo. At least wait 24 hours and see if I see a change. We're not even gonna put it up because what I don't wanna do is have to pick it back up and put it back somewhere else, which is good. And shout out to Bruce here at the park. Bruce, thank you so much. I put in a work order because I wanted our shed to get uh, scrubbed up and cleaned up. So he's gonna go ahead and take down the branch for us. And thanks to Craig for alerting them, but that comes down and they're also gonna clean that up for us. Power wash our shed for us. And then we're gonna do the setup, you guys. So when we're talking about glamping, we like to do a outside setup. Right now, this is what it looks like. And it's only because we're trying to get all the ants 
from off our site by spring. I'm gonna put another coating down there. But we're gonna do a setup and I cannot wait to show you guys because it's how it's gonna look until we depart or we leave. And this is gonna be our outdoors living quarters because you're inside with limited limit quarters, uh, living quarters. We're gonna turn this to our outside living quarters, so. cooking because I got that holy trinity up in there I got my chicken that I did put out on the grill I've never did this before where you cook your chicken on the grill so we'll see how that tastes and I got that beef smoked sausage so I'm gonna make a nice interesting well I should say chicken gumbo sausage how about that and I got my gumbo fillet so I'm getting that going and that's gonna be our our quick meal I shouldn't say quick because gumbo is not quick it's a technique to gumbo and hopefully I have mastered it or learned it but it's all in the room that's what I was advised it's all in the room my eyes are watering because I just cut up an onion so I'm sorry um yeah that onion is strong but Anyway, I'm going to show you the gumbo as I do it, and hopefully, you know, at the end of the day, bam, we got that gumbo bandit style. So, update you guys, Talmadge walked up on the golf cart, and he said, man, Sugar Bear is coming along. She's looking good. Babe, is that what you said to me? No. Talmadge. No. He he supposedly formerly known as Sugar Bear Frog. He called Frog, which is really Sugar Bear, Sugar Bear. So you guys, he sold it's Sugar Bear. No. You said it. No. You said Sugar Bear is no. coming along. No. Just a minute, babe. You said Sugar Bear, right? No, we waste the film up. No. <laughs> so we could put them right in the fire. And that's why I said, you know what? We're going to get uh, our fire pit. But we have to. We have to. Okay. No, no, we were at it from here anyway. That wire, like a wire brush, and you put it on through. Yeah, that's what I was saying. So one of the things that we are doing is we are at the flea market and we scored on some cast iron skillets. Yeah. Look at that. Griswold. Griswold for both of them. One Griswold was 25 bucks and the other one was 15 bucks. Score. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> No, uh, no. Come on, do the Oho Owl, Ashanti. I'm Boogie Man, Boogie Man. Turn me on. <laughs> at the flea market you can find plants shrubs and flowers that would be definitely economical and at a good deal so Tracy so many Griswolds in Berlin and so, so expensive so this fine right here is a good fine at the flea market right oh yeah you're gonna triple your money on it so as soon as you get it all cleaned up uh-huh yep like new you'll triple your money so our griswold is it like the top of the line yeah, or is it it's the... us may yeah, okay it's cast iron us nice. may nice yeah yeah we had fun 
<laughs> we, we are all, exhausted. We, yeah, we are all exhausted, but we all bought something. Yes. <laughs> and now we got to see how we can sneak it in the trailer. <laughs> so that was a long day. Uh, going to the flea market is really fun. We had a ball. I am now going to show Talmadge all of my good finds that I'm going to show you guys too. I'm gonna check and see what Mr. Town has been doing. How you been doing, babe? Good. How you been doing? I've been doing good. I gotta show you all my stuff, okay? okay all right. Stuff I do. I got a lot of stuff. All right. But this is my favorite find. So this is a Grizz wall cast iron skillet, right? And I have to refurbish it. And it only cost me 25 bucks for this. This is a frying pan that once I bring it back to life with these things right here and with some fire, it'll make it all smooth. It would, it would, it's worth, um, probably like a hundred bucks. Mm, so you got a project on. I got a project. Remember, it's your project, not mine. So That's you know. fine. Okay. Tracy's going to help me. But I think this is cool. Griswold. Griswold cast iron skillet. So I'm really excited about that. And I found this at the flea market, you guys. And then I found this. The Chicago dog. And this is the relish that you need for it. And this is the hot pepper. So we're gonna have to make some specialty Chicago hot dogs. So we had fun. We were there probably what, for four hours? Yeah. Long time. A long time, yes. Yeah. And you got to relax. You yes, got to ride around on the scooter right there. So, oh, and that's my other find at the flea market. I found this plant for 15 bucks and I'm pretty sure it would have been more if I would have gotten it at like Home Depot or something like this, or something like that, but it's called the firecracker and all the buds are gonna bloom. So it's gonna bloom all over the place. So yeah. And that is for our home. We got plant there, plant there, plant there. And now I just got to find pots for them all. So, there you have it. Nice fun day. So I don't know if I showed the finished product of the gumbo, but I made some mean, I made a mean, mean chicken sausage gumbo. It was good. Got that okra, got the holy trinity in there, some beef smoked sausage and chicken. Turned out good. Pretty proud of myself. Talmadge, he ate all his. And this is the last bit of that pot. So, pretty good. Mmm. In the right color, too. So, we're just enjoying ourselves here. Sitting around. It's pretty quiet. Because it's, Saturday. it's a Saturday and we're snowbirding, right? It is yeah. definitely different. Yeah, this is a Saturday. Usually we'll be up and moving, but we we have both adapted this trip. This trip, <laughs> we both like snowbird and so snowbird mode, just sit, sitting around. But anyway, we got the ad motor bike. I'm checking it out. I'm reading the book. I just got finished riding it. It is so fun, guys. This is the ad motor. Motan M66 R7. Okay, this is a 48 volt 
bike slash moped. It's really like a moped. It's got that retro moped look. It's a whopping 750 watt power motor that's inside this back mag. You know, it's the two mag wheels that it contains also. All right, banana seat. It has that retro look. The colors that I like, the black, the silver, the red. Very nice bike. So I went into the settings on this bike. This bike comes comes stock at 20, 20 miles per hour speed, but I went into the settings, adjusted the settings and turned it up to 24 miles an hour. But it still can't get with frog. Frog would burn it. But it's just as fast. Nice leather hand grips. It has a bell to it too. Yeah, it got a bell. Got two bells to it. It got that bell. Let me turn it on. So I can turn it on. Okay, what I do like about this bike, you don't need a key with this bike. But but you do need a key if you're gonna remove the battery. So you can turn it on here. It's you got a, two ways to turn it on. You turn it on here. And you come over here to turn on the screen and everything. So that's how it look. Turned on. Nice LC, LCD screen. That's that horn. It's annoying too. Sound like you back it up. Sound like sound like Amazon coming to your house to give you a package. But this is how it look. It has the front headlight, back tail light, back tail light. They nice big back tires. Oh, it does. It when I say it's like a moped, this bike had blinkers. Let's see. Check it out. See the blinker? And then the hazards. It had hazards. Okay, where well you can tell is the hazards on. You see how the blinkers on? The hazards you hold both buttons in. Ah. Come on, hazard. There we go. Now we got hazards. Check them out. Both sides. Hazards. Headlights and this tail light is a brake light as well. So when you when you hit the brakes, the handlebar brakes, it breaks. But it is nice. Yes. It also it is a bike too, guys. When I say bike, say if you run out of juice you get you go so far you run out of juice but you you're supposed to be able to get 50 miles out of this bike but if you do run out of juice you got a backup plan you're gonna have to pedal Get the pedals got the shimano gears on it nice bike so ashanti claimed that me and her both can ride on this bike when we when we ride she want to ride together sometimes because she like to be she got so used to being close to us in frog so she wanted to get something where she close to me on this too so just got back and we're headed out told you guys we're gonna take you on some adventures and that's what we plan to do just that